If you like the look of stained glass, I got the coolest card today. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'm sharing this really cool geometric heart thingy majig, and it kind of looks like stained glass, and it actually turned out far better than I thought it was going to. To see that card project, stick around. It's coming up next. Today I'm playing with a very fun bundle and this is called Modern Heart Quilt. And what's cool about this in the bundle, let's see if I can get this all open up here. You have a stamp set with some greetings. You have a die to cut out this modern looking heart. And we have layered stencils. One, two, three, wow, four, five, six. So I think what's happening here is we're going to create some dimension on our little friend here. Let's see. I'm going to have to figure out how it goes, but I'm going to pick six colors and I have a feeling that these are all going to go kind of shadowing each other. But what I want to do first is I want to stamp my heart and I want to emboss it in gold. So I'm gonna get set up to stamp so I can stamp this out, emboss it in gold, and that's going to be step one. One thing that's kind of cool is you can also just stamp your own pattern with just the stamp set on the inside. All of those little pieces will fill. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stamp this, then I'm going to die cut it before I stencil. And uh, hopefully it will all make sense, but we're gonna pick this up I'm going to reposition, press this down, and I'm just going to prime this a bit. Now, I'm going to bring in this is my little powder tool. We're just putting powder all over our cardstock so that when I pour my embossing powder on, the powder that I'm going to use today, the Ultra Fine Antique Gold, is only going to stick to the ink. This is the clear embossing ink that I'm using today from Simon. Let's get you nice and inked up here and bring this down Oop. and take my stamp press tool. This is a Stampin' Bug. And I'm just going to transfer that ink. Lift that up, I don't think it moved. So I'm going to get it one more time. Coming down and press. And now let me grab my paper for embossing. All right, got this. And of course, we have out now new clothespins. You know how I've been using an emboss this. Well, Simon worked with the maker of these uh, clothespins, and we are now carrying two different sets in the store. My favorite, of course, is the one that says protect the Manny in the three pack. So that's the one I'm going to use today because you know me, I like to protect the Manny. All right, let's take this here and pick this up. And I will set that aside and clean that in a little bit. And then I'm going to take that lovely Protect the Manny, just clip it right here because it holds my paper and keeps my fingers away from the heat. I'll sprinkle on this Ultra Fine Antique Powder. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, looking good. Let's get a little more over here. I hope I got a good impression. We shall see. I think I'm a little light on this side, but I think that's going to be okay. All right, we're going to funnel this back in. I'm going to take my little shader brush here. This is my angled shader and just Wipe that. There's one. There was just one area where I had a little powder that I don't want. And I think that'll be okay just because I am, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot to this today. So I'm not too worried about that being a little light. I've got my Wow Heat Embossing Tool and we'll melt the powder. Now I have a beautiful shiny heart. Look at that. 
Isn't that nice? It's got a beautiful shine. Now I'm going to go ahead and die cut this first because then it's going to help me line everything up the way I want to. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. It will also help to flatten this panel out a little bit. So let's run this through my Gemini Junior. And now I'm going to have this pretty little cut heart that I am ready to go ahead and stencil on. I'm going to try something a little different today. Uh, and I'm going to work on just one of my pieces of copy paper. Take a little tape runner here. I'm just going to pop this right here to hold that in place while I work. And I'm going to take the very first stencil and line it up right on this first side. Okay. And once I'm pretty sure I have it in place, I'm going to tape this down onto the paper just to hold it in place. Now I am going to start with one color at a time. So I'm going to start with, let's see, do I want to do my lightest? I think I don't know if these are top or bottom. We are going to roll the dice here. Let me grab my blending brushes. For the first layer, I'm going to use, oh, let me get that off on the part that sticks, celery. And I'm just going to bring this in, hold the stencil as I go, and add my celery. I'll be a little darker on each edge and then a little lighter. Like that. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to come together, but I think it's going to be pretty. And quick. You know, this is this is going to be it's going to be really quick. All right. So, that's layer 1. Now, pick it up. Oh, look at how cool that is. I'm going to save my tape for the next stencil. Set that up here. We're going to bring this in like this. And I am going to make each one of these a darker green. So you kind of get the vibe, right? I'm going to put on some music so that you can not have to wait as long to see how the magic is going to shake out. Look at that beautiful heart. Come on in. Now this ink is going to smooth and dry a bit, but look at how gorgeous that is. Just with all the different steps and modules and oh my goodness gracious. All right, going to set that aside and move on. Next, I'm going to just take an adhesive eraser and just take that adhesive off the back so that it lets me play with it a little more and it just collects on here and then I'll like pull it off and just throw it away. Even though there are awesome greetings to go with this, I'm kind of drawn to just having a die. And this is a beautiful fancy thanks. And I think it could look really cute just right on the heart. Not not in an angle, but like right on the heart. I don't think I will do the shadow layer though because I want the heart itself to still be able to shine and I might even have it hang off a little bit. Haven't decided, but I'm going to cut some of these out in white and one of them out in Simon Says Stamp matte gold and I think that's going to be beautiful. So let me get them all cut out 
and we can glue them together. I'm going to put a mask on and move away from where I film and spray a little adhesive on the backs of two of these layers so that I can build up dimension for my greeting. I usually try to line up the first letters and then, oh, it's a little sticky on my tweezers, and then just sort of wiggle them into place. The spray glue isn't super forgiving, but it's not a lost cause. So I like to just do a little, and that actually looks really good. All right. And now I'll get my pretty gold layer and that layer will be on top. And my hope is that gold really picks up nicely with the embossing. Get that on top with the T first, and let go, and then get that lined up. Okay. Got a little, little sticky here and there, but that's okay, because that, ooh, that actually looks pretty good. And now I have a thanks with some dimension. Like that, okay, nice and shiny. I'm just gonna put my little Share Handmade Kindness brick on that and let that adhere. I'm gonna take some foam tape and put that on the back of my heart and I will just pull some out here. Let's see, you go over there and measure sort of across the heart. A little bit there, like that, like that. I love these scissors because they don't stick to the foam at all. They're very nice non-stick. They're the Simon Simon Says Stamp Everyday Scissors. And uh, I think that's enough, right? Because that'll give us, yeah, that's nice and firm. All right, now let's see what this looks like on top. Oh, I have a tiny little little hanger on, did I? Or did it fall off? Okay. Now what I didn't realize is look at how beautifully the thanks is going to fit right in the center of the heart. Oh, so good. Now I just have to figure out what the note card's going to be. And honestly, I feel like it should just be white, but I have one other idea. I've already got a note card here that I created. This is just a USA 2 out of the Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound. Got my little splat box. I have this Aqua Pigment Gilded from Brutus Monroe, and it's just been a great little splatter medium. In fact, I'm gonna take this out first. I'm going to just wet down my brush a little bit, and this is just a number four fan brush, right? Kind of want it to be wet. And I'm gonna shake this really well, take some out with the dropper, put it on a block. That should be enough. And then I'm gonna pick it up, right? Get my, get my little handle all ready. And I just like to test it before I go a little crazy. It doesn't matter if I get any on the back. And then I'm just gonna put little gold splatters on this background. And when it dries, it's going to be super gold and shiny. All right, let me go clean this up and we'll continue. So I realized after I made the card that I made it top folding. Well, you know what, that actually works. I actually think that works. And you know what, I thought it wouldn't be large enough, but I think I could keep it up a little higher. Like sometimes it's cute to go up a little higher on a card and then I'd have, yeah, you know what? I like that. I like it. All right, let's get the backers off of the foam. And I'm gonna take my Simon Says Stamp Reverse tweezers. I keep the clean tweezers that don't touch glue so that they will feel and stay nice and clean. Although you can always clean off your I, I keep other tweezers for gluey things, and I do try to clean them off either with a the little uh, gum eraser, adhesive eraser. And here I'm just putting a little liquid glue onto the foam to give it just a little bit of float time so that I can place it and then I don't have to panic if I get it slightly off. But I do want this to be a little on the higher upside. 
and we'll just go like that. That looks pretty good. Let's go right like that. I guess I could bring in my uh, T-square for this too, but you know what? That looks great. And now I'm gonna use the same liquid glue to add my greeting. And I'll just do little dots here all over the back of this stacked greeting. I like to stack greetings with spray glue, but when it's time to place them, I like the liquid glue to have that little bit of float time just so I have a chance to wiggle it exactly where I want it to be. Just make sure you get all of the ends of the letters, the little serifs and swoop de doos so that you get a nice adherence. And here I'm just using this gold line as my guide for lining up my greeting. And that is really nice from side to side. That's nicely there. Oh, that is just so cool. That heart is so cool. All right, let's put the brick on and let that adhere. I have some This Calls for Confetti Gold. It's a really nice all-purpose gold. Let me find my Pierce and Place tool. And I think I'll just do, let's see here. Do I wanna have, I don't know if maybe I would like to try something a little different, which for me, I don't know. You know, the sequins, sequins or the confetti. Confetti is life and I don't know yet if that is how I wanna play it, just to have a few off. They look dark right now, but they will look beautiful in the, in the light. Let's pick you up here, like that, and find a little BB. There's the BB, like that. Maybe just put a few, I don't need more than that, and I like that there's one coming off. It's kinda of like, oh, did we forget that? No, that's intentional. All right, let's boop it up. I love this little tiny pickup tool. It's so nice for confetti sequins. Boop. Or really sequins of any kind. It's a nice tool. Boop. There we go. And notice how I'm going right on that little cross section Boop. of all those little friends like that. Come down here. And one right there. Boop. And that is my finished card project. Look at that heart. Isn't that just funky? I mean, and look at the nice cool tones. Let me zoom in here. I think you can see the spatter and how it gets shiny, but that's all gold spatter on there. So there's a nice pickup on the top and the bottom, and that has a lot of shine as well. I love how that turned out. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you become one, and don't forget to hit the like button as well. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. To see a few more projects using stencils, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below and I'll see you in those videos.